zero. And then uh, we solve differential equations to model this malware 3D. And our case study is the undergraduate engineering students with a realistic mathematics education and our case study, which is a malware screening in mobile devices. Okay, and finally, some evaluation and conclusions. So, as you know, our students every day, they use the mobile devices and smart smartphones, tables, or laptops, everything. In classes, outside classes, all the places, and every time. So what we propose our students is to use this realistic mathematics education, I will tell you later about this, and based on Internet of Things and the malware screen. So three things to learn. Our engineering students, they have to handle a lot of simulation problems, and for that problems, they use numerical methods. They use these uh, numerical methods for mechanics, for electronics, for electricity, all of them have to model mathematically some different uh, topics. And for that we use, I'm sorry to, say, to tell you these things, but we use ordinary differential equations and also partial differential equations. Okay. Uh, our students learn mathematics and what we want is that they solve real problems with the help of their uh, previously acquired competencies and skills. Um, okay, the progressive implementation of this IoT makes the malware a real threat. Uh, what we have is, uh, this is called the Competencies Flower. It uh, was defined in a common analysis project by Mogen I think. And uh, we have eight competencies. Each of these methods is one co mathematical competency for engineering students. Uh, we start, for example, here mathematical thinking or to representing mathematically or to use the symbols and formalisms to communicate the com competence of communicating mathematically, different aids and tools that we can use for solving our problems to reasoning mathematically, to modeling mathematically, and to problem typing competency. Okay? All of them is uh, rounded by these two ideas to deal with mathematical language and tools, and to ask and answer in, with, and about mathematics. And uh, what we thought at the beginning is that our students, they know a lot of things about uh, malware spreading because they see a lot of films or videos in YouTube, or so they know the general idea. And they can uh, work in different models to express uh, the epidemiology or malware experience, which is for them is the same. Okay. So what we have is a mathematical model is only a set, as I can uh, write here, a set of mathematical symbols, relations, functions, everything to model a real world situation. <coughs> okay. And what we do with this mathematical model is to simplify a representation of something real from the real life, okay? And we want, what we want is to, to make a transformation from the real world situation to a mathematical problem. And what we propose to our undergraduate graduate uh, students is to solve uh, what this uh, man, Pollack, uh, Pollack, sorry, he speak about the circle of modeling. So he thought about all of this. In our case, the real problem is the malware spreading and everything is in this uh, movement. They go to mathematics. Mathematics is everything. So what is not mathematics is real life. So for him is a bit strange. So what we do is to, to use the classic, the classical mathematics, and with the uh, the real life or the application of mathematics to real life. Okay. So what is Internet of Things? Is everything that is connected. Okay. We have our smart TV or the laptop or the mobile phone or some wireless uh, devices to, to get the temperature, the humidity in one house. So everything is connected. And students know that everything is connected. For example, for them, uh, if they want to, uh, to make a mathematical model, all of these things have the same equations. 
they can think about the electric circuit, or they can think in malware sprint, or they can think in this vibration sprint, or epidemiology, or this topography, the course lines, or the biochemical system, everything are modeled by the same similar equation. Okay? So the only thing is to know how can we uh, model the model. Okay, so if we continue, these are the competencies, eight competencies, mathematical competencies for engineering students. So we think mathematically, we have to reason mathematically to pose and solving mathematical problem, and we have one model for that problem, okay, which is the malware spreading. We can represent the mathematical entities, of course, for all of these four initial competencies, we have to handle mathematical signs and formalisms, and then students should communicate in, with, and about mathematics, and they have to use the tools that they need to model this problem. Okay, and concerning the realistic mathematics education, this was invented a long time ago, it's not a new idea, and this method describe mathematical concepts from the relation of the phenomena that originate that or something that is not, I mean, like a typical mathematical problem. This realistic mathematics education have six core principles. First one, which is activity. The students need to participate in the learning process. This is something that we hear every day concerning our common European space. So they should be the the owner and the, to participate in the, le, the, the own learning. Okay. Reality, which is uh, related to applying mathematics to solve real life problems. The level principle, which means that mathematics, you learn mathematics uh, step by step. You need to understand some basic things and then continue. Interpretation or the interrelation, because the mathematics is related with a lot of other subjects. In fact, in, in engineering subjects, there are a lot of mathematics. Interactivity, because students don't learn alone, they learn with other colleagues or their classmates. And the guidance principle, which is related to the, the task of, that we have as teachers or trainers or to guide the students. Uh, what we propose at the beginning only to know if the students uh, know things about malware is a very basic uh, survey with, uh, for example, we have here one question, uh, we ask them if it's, if, if it's any relation between, between this equation and this map, because all of them knows that you can see in a film that how a virus is spreading all over the world, so this is very easy to understand, but sometimes the equation is not as easy as the fiction. Okay, so only that kind of questions, or if they use uh, how many times per week they use the mobile phone or laptop or whatever, they use every day, so it's more or less easy. These are more or less some results, and we ask also then if they know things like uh, computer virus or malware or war, computer worms or uh, Trojan force or things like that. Okay. They know, for example, a computer virus or less malware and less uh, worms, but in general they know more or less what are these things. Okay. Uh, so, uh, to uh, conclusions or how can we evaluate these things? Uh, to evaluate the competencies, the mathematical competencies, uh, we know that it's more it's difficult because it depends on, on what competency do you want to evaluate. You can do uh, some tests or written exams or oral exams or team works. We try everything. Uh, and what we want for, for students is to, to know how to solve problems that they are going to find in their, in their lives. Okay. This uh, paper only have, uh, is a case study, but it's a proposal. I did not try this in a, one of our courses, but we, we will try. And what is very interesting is the application of realistic mathematics education. Because as I told you before, it's not a new thing. It's from the beginning of the last century, and I think it's very interesting. And what we plan for the future is to try this 
we need to propose these kind of activities to our students during classes time. Okay. Um, that's it. Thank you.